Hey everyone! Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Some of you might just be finding me today. My name is Jean Collins and I do health and wellness and chemical free living because really your ingredients might be affecting your endocrine system and if that's happening it's not really that good because it can cause immune system issues as well as sex drive issues. Yep you heard me right so many things, low energy as well. So there's actually a hierarchy to your um, endocrine system. So first it starts with like, or like if you're having brain fog or memory issues or weight gain or sleep issues, that's probably your co cortisol. But the body making cortisol, when that happens, it stops making the other hormones and it kind of hinders out the other hormones. So then your adrenals are gonna get out of whack, which is then gonna mess up the thyroid, and then it's gonna mess up your sex hormones. So if you're already in an issue with sex drive, you're probably really definitely gonna to wanna to start with Young Living's Corda Stop. So that's a supplement. We'll get more into that in a little bit. But I just wanted you guys to know also that when you're trying to figure out what's up with your thyroid, it's not as easy and a lot of the times like your thyroid might be saying that it's functioning perfectly and the test might come back all clear it might still not be so there's a lot of different tests and you definitely want to find someone who's really going to work with you because if you're having memory fog and then that weight gain and sleep issues and then you especially the weight gain it's gonna be probably something with your thyroid. So you just wanna be aware of that. And also with estrogen, your your test results might be good with your estrogen. However, it could just be like an estrogen receptor. So really the, the thing is the endocrine system plugs into a lot of other systems in the body. And it's just so important. The, the toxins, if you're looking at your ingredients of what you're using to clean your house, to clean your body and your and your hair and your face and all of that, you gotta you gotta make sure that they are free of ingredients that are endocrine disruptors. You can go ahead and Google endocrine disruptors. It's a long list. So I kind of want to talk about oils and how to how that is gonna help. And you can always come to one of my events. All my contact info is below. So let me know and I'll at least jump into a few of the ingredients or you can just contact me and we can have a conversation that would be awesome right so let's make sure like i said the thyroid all, like all of this also has to do with stress we're dealing with a lot right now still um it might be great advice to just turn off the news for a little while you know, especially if you're getting so to the point that you are very upset. Look, I get it. It's very important to be in the know, right? But then again, is it? How much of it can you really control? And how much is of knowing what the news, is that really helping you? Just saying. So we want to make sure that we're, we're supporting our body and we are also, like like I mentioned, I did mention Cortistop. So Cortistop is a su supplement that you take. It's either six to eight weeks, and then you stop it for two weeks, and then you start it again. Now, you should not consistently take Cortistop. You should really be making sure that you can ha have the mindset to manage your stress. But Cortistop is going to help with making sure that your body is not producing cortisol because if you're consistently producing cortisol then it's shutting down those other um, hormones that like the thyroid and progestins, progestins. so we want to make sure that those aren't happening because we want to make sure that you have the pregnenolone we want to make sure that everything is working perfectly so that you have energy you're fun to be around you're enjoying life you're able to sleep well and all of those things are happening right so um, a few other things with the endocrine system. So I'm actually going to talk about a blend. Actually, I put a, I didn't bring that blend with me. There is a blend, a blend called Endo or Endoflex, and Endoflex has oils that help the whole endocrine system. So you could start there as well if you have essential oils 
versus uh, the supplement. There's also a supplement called Thyromin. Now, Thyromin is high in um, iodine. So we want to make sure that if you're using Thyromin, that you are not taking other uh, iodine items, okay? Just be aware of that. Now, the other things to look out for is remembering the endocrine system also is related to the circulatory system and it contains glands that secrete hormones and enzymes. So the enzymes are helping with your digestive system. Those hormones are helping with your uh, reproductive system. We want to make sure that or realize that essential oils can help mimic the body's ability to produce hormones. So it's basically, in most cases, it can help you to stimulate specific glands so that they're creating those hormones. It's pretty awesome. And hormonal imbalance, especially in today's world, with the all of the ingredients coming in, it's kind of rampant. I mean, do you know people who have issues uh, procreating? You know, getting pregnant? I know I do. And it's quite a bit. And it's kind of scary, the age numbers. Doesn't make sense to me, but it does when you start doing your research about all the endocrine disruptors in our shampoos, our conditioners, our mouthwash, just all of the things we use and the things that we also clean with. Not cool. Um, so the penile gland is responsible for the release of melatonin, which helps regulate sleep. So if you're having issues with sleep and you would like to support frankincense is amazing i'm not going to show all of the oils you guys i'm just going to talk about it but frankincense is amazing uh sandalwood cedarwood and spruce i will show you guys how to use essential oils now you should make sure that they fully drop okay if that was two drops that's fine we have trillions of cells in our body and essential oils work on the cellular level to support the cells right so Frankincense is amazing for the brain. Actually, a lot of these oils that are great for our endocrine system and our glands are also really good for our brain, which makes sense because a lot of these are in the brain region area. So it's it's really cool because most of like frankincense and a lot of those are in, like myrrh, cedarwood, uh, sandalwood, they're ancient scripture oils too. So they've been used since ancient times. It's pretty amazing and awesome. Okay, so frankincense, sandalwood, and cedarwood are to help support the penile gland. You can smell the oils. You can put them on the crown of your head. You can um, apply them to the back of your neck. You can put them on the bottom of your feet, near your big toe. There's so many different ways. The hypothalamus is part of the brain. Remember I mentioned that? Which links the endocrine system to the nervous system by way of the pituitary gland. The hypothalamus regulates hunger, thirst, body temperature, along with sleep and alertness. So peppermint, which makes sense, peppermint helps you have energy. Peppermint, lavender, cedarwood, dill, frankincense, sandalwood, and marjoram help with the hypothalamus. Some of those you are able to use in your mouth as well. Uh, just smell the oils, diffuse them. You can put them on the base of your neck. Pituitary gland is at the base of the brain and is responsible for regulating growth, metabolism, and reproduction. Remember I told you the endocrine system is really important for your weight, like how much you weigh. And if it's out of whack, it's going to probably be hard to release weight and it might even be hard to gain weight. You could be on either side of those spectrums, okay? So again, the pituitary gland is at the base of the brain and is responsible for regulating growth, metabolism, reproduction, as well as stress, stress and blood pressure, which makes sense. It also regulates temperature and pain relief. And it's really cool because it's the size of the little area of the pinky, the tip of the pinky. So, or you can think of like a, um, a small pea and it has a big job. It's pretty awesome, right? The body is amazing. It's really cool. So essential oils to help the pituitary gland are frankincense, cinnamon bark, and cedarwood. All of those are ancient scripture oils and also just help in general with the brain, which again makes sense to where the pituitary gland is located. So you can drop one in your hand. You can dip uh, uh, dip your 
thumb into it and place it on the roof of your mouth and hold for 15 to 30 seconds. And I would suggest the frankincense and cinnamon bark vitality for those. Thyroid gland is in the neck and it's two lobes connected to each other. The thyroid, it's almost like a butterfly or the outline of a butterfly. The thyroid regulates energy in our body. It helps our body know how to react to other hormones hormones as they're released. The thyroid is huge and there's actually four diseases associated with the thyroid. The two main ones are hypo, hyper thyroidism and hypothyroidism. Hyper is overactive thyroid, hyper overactive. Hypo is the thyroid produces less than normal hormones. Common symptoms of the hyper thyroidism, so the overactive, Increased appetite, increased heart rate, weight loss, fatigue, diarrhea, heat intolerance, and sweating. Hypo would be weight gain, fatigue, slow heart rate, hair loss, and cold intolerance. Essential oils that help just support the thyroid in general is geranium, carrot seed, cypress, and myrrh. So if you want to help support hyperthyroid, wintergreen, sandalwood, frankincense, black spruce, and lemongrass. This, you guys, is all up to you. You guys know I'm not a doctor. I'm just reading information and letting you guys use that information. If you have these issues and have these diagnoses, talk to a doctor, okay? All right, cool. So if you have uh, one more, like more support with hypothyroid, spearmint, myrrh, peppermint, frankincense, clove, cedarwood, leadum, and myrtle. Just giving you guys information. So adrenal glands are at the top of the kidneys. There's two of them, and they each have multiple layers, which produce several, uh, several hormones. They regulate the blood pressure, electrolytes, immune uh, suppressant, or immune response. So, oh, immunity, suppression, and sexual hormones. One of the main hormones secreted is cortisol from the adrenal glands. It is, helps to regulate metabolism, stress, immunity, and, and helps with inflammation. There's also outer stone, regulates blood pressure and volume along with potassium, uh, uh, yeah, potassium and sodium levels. Other hormones from the adrenal glands are endocrine, nora, noradrenaline, and adrenaline. So essential oils that just support the adrenal glands. Lavender, rosemary, ylang, ylang and bergamot. The pancreas. Endocrine and digestive system is, is part of the pancreas. See, the pancreas or the endocrine system plays into other systems. So the pancreas is located, located behind the stomach and produces hormones as insulin and gluti glutagion, a couple of regulatory hormone, other hormones as well. So insulin helps uh, metabolize fats and carbs so that glucose from the blood can be absorbed properly. The pancreas also produces the glutagion, which elevates glucose and which helps alleviate glucose in the bloodstream. We got this, right? So marjoram, lemon, vetiver, and cypress are great for the pancreas. Again, this is all just to support the body, okay? Um, we also have the ovaries in women and ovaries are below the stomach on either side and they are responsible for producing the eggs and they secrete estrogen, testosterone, and progesterone. Frankincense, cypress, and geranium are the single oils that will help. So um, also, if you have and you need more estrogen or testosterone, so use Clarity Sage. For the testes in men, they are responsible for the sperm as well as hormonal or hormone testosterone. Essential oils to support the testes are patchouli, ylang ylang, spruce, and copaiba. Estrogen and testosterone support for men is clarity sage. This is just all info. So I hope that helps you in making sure that the, your endocrine system is working. Please also look into your ingredients and stop using toxic ingredients. Because even if you're using some of these essential oils to help support, if you're using toxic ingredients, you're like negating it out. You're not gonna get better and have more energy and all of that. And the endocrine system, as you guys heard, is really important for, again, your immunity, your weight, 
your energy levels because the adrenal glands are in there. So you want to make sure that you're really looking at your ingredients and becoming an ingredient savvy sleuth. So I hope you guys have a beautiful rest of your day, evening, night, wherever you're at. Thank you guys so much for subscribing and just being amazing. Bye.